All right. So, welcome to Dreadnought Part 16. As you can see, I've done quite a bit of base coating, but it's time to do all the little fine details with the, you know, the small brush and everything else. Yep. As I said, this is going to take a bit, and well, I was able to get Part 15 out before the whole moving, but well, obviously. I've cleared out the old apartment and all the old stuff is now in my basement. So, while I, uh, shall we say, recover, I'm going to do one of my favorite things. Make YouTube videos, drink whiskey, and build models. Let's do this. And do this we shall. This time at a 20x speed instead of my normal 10 just because quite a bit of painting, quite a bit of fiddling around, and also quite a lot of hemming and hawing. So I think here where I just started was uh, painting up all the, uh, maybe painting up some of the officers. Let me just see if that's really what, nope, nope, sorry. I'm painting all the uh, furniture first. I'm using that, uh, I think it's, uh, oh, what is it, Steel Legion Drab, I guess is what Games Workshop likes to call that one. Yeah, I'm still using those old Citadel paints just because, let's face it, I'm cheap and I cut my teeth on Warhammer, so... Yeah, anyways. So there I go, all the uh, wooden furniture, I'm doing up with that. Uh, every once in a while I'll wipe it on the brush, yeah, put on some new paint, and I'll use that just to pull some paint from the bottle, I'll put it on the palette, and I'll mix it, give or take, 50-50 paint to water, sometimes 60-40 paint to water, give or take. It's one of those... Um, it really is one of those touchy-feely kind of things, like, is it applying right, does it look like it's applying right? So here I go now with the uh, black, I'm trying to remember what exactly I'm painting, but I think I'm painting some officers with this uh, color, just to get them, you know, started up. Um, and what I've tried to do this time around is uh, try to paint in layers, like the things that are that are on top of other things or what paints a glass. So a person would be painted after his chair and his, you know, floor and whatnot. Uh, this goes for everything except the walls on this because I figure after painting it up, and I mention it in the, the uh, next uh, normal speed section, that it just didn't look like it had enough variety um, of, of colors when I had everything painted up. So I went ahead and I actually, yeah, painted all the walls gray. Now what you see me doing is painting all the beds and painting them white, because you know, just when I think bed sheets, I think white. Um, and after what will probably be a little bit of correcting little issues here and there, maybe, I'll, oh, there I am, by the way. That, what I just did there was plates. I figured I'd give these guys some food and what have you, along with painting other little details and trying to correct them as I go. You'll also see me reach aside every once in a while, kind of shake the hand out that I'm painting with. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of getting sore just holding that brush. I've been using these hands for, I, I got all that moving really tired out, the, uh, especially my hands more than I thought would be possible, but guess that's neither here nor there. Eventually I'll, uh, you know, I'll sort out the uh, hands and they'll be back to full speed. But until then, uh, here I am continuing the painting. What I just did there was try to add a little gold trim to one of the officers. And here I am adding some more, uh, I think, yeah, I think what I'm doing is I'm actually adding the heads to these guys. So make it so the heads are a separate color than their uniform color, just to make them a bit more detailed, a bit more accurate. Uh, and now I'm going right along and painting some more little details here and there, maybe doing some corrections. And here is the slow motion. All right. So figured I kind of just stop this kind of probably not even midway to be honest. So what I've done here is I've uh, had a little uh, conversation between officers here. I've added something of a dinner party here with uh, drops of paint for dinner plates. And, uh, well, someone's had a bad day and someone's about to have a bad day. Also painting all the various furniture a uh, brown color. 
I uh, guess it's a Citadel. Currently it's Steel Legion Drab, I think, but could be something else. It's a light brownish color, it looked like wood to me, so I figured I'd use it. And I painted uh, the beds white. So what I'll be doing next is probably painting on some quilts. Maybe deciding on if I want to change the color of the walls or not to maybe add a little more life. Because this is a pretty dark looking color. At least, you know, do the doors up or something. And uh, yeah, other than that, just kind of refining all the little details on this deck before uh, going on to the, uh, low, the lower one with the workshop and all the showers. All right. Let's keep cracking. All righty. So as you can see, I'm mixing up some more paint. Slightly different uh, angle of, color of uh, where I'm painting from. And now I'm just uh, correcting a little bits here and there of the paint job uh, before eventually I'll go, yeah, painting off the officers as well, as well as enlisted men. And after correcting some beds as well as when I'll start adding this, uh, all these quilts that I mentioned in the previous thing. Again, these are little corrections. I'm using a very close to the floor green just to really correct any big glaring issues you know between the floor and anything else uh, i'm sure i'll have to do this again that might be a 17 might not be depending on how big i think the errors are to um yeah the next section or yeah the um yeah next yeah adding it to this for anything that i mix up here when i start painting over the walls and i do start painting over the walls by the way it'll be a minute uh, here we go so now i'm doing the quilts I'm doing that in the, uh, you know, I think, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's my crag blue from Games Workshop. I also use the same for the officers. They're a bit darker because they're on a gray primer, but that's, that's neither here nor there. So there I go, doing up all the beds. Bit of hemming and hawing. And then starting to add... I might have actually added some uh, bits to the dinner plates to, you know... Yep, I'm adding I'm adding things like the uh, dish to the dinner plates, as in what they're actually eating because I'm crazy. And then I painted up the toilet. I think that's what that was over there. And then just a bit more little minor corrections looks like. So I'm looking at this thing a lot. It's why you see a lot of time lapse bits where I seem to be doing nothing. And I'm just wondering, it's like. I mean, it's good that I have a consistent color that I'll be using moving forward, but it's like everything just looks so dead. Like, like there's not enough variation in the color. Like, I need to add different colors for, like, walls and stuff now. Huh. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll think of something to brighten it all up. All right. Back to painting. And here we go. So now I am continuing my painting, or now I'm doing the brightening up, sorry. I, I'd previously tried to record this uh, amount of painting, but it didn't quite go my way. Um, just because uh, using the editing software, I thought I'd be able to get away with it, uh, giving me the uh, what the footage would be as a real-time sort of preview, and it just didn't want to do that for me, so I had to you know export the video first, and then edit the copy I made. I'm worried that this method of doing it will cause some deg degradation, but from what I'm looking at, everything seems pretty well in focus. Details are discernible and so on and so forth. Um, so this is really just a lot of painting with that gray color Dawnstone, I think is what Games Workshop called it. And um, it's, um, but I think it's a 20 aught gauge brush. Uh, very tiny, used again, I think as I already mentioned, to dot the eyes on little miniature figurines. Um, but using that, what I'm doing is I'm going over all the walls that I can, getting around all the little nooks and crannies, and trying to get it in this gray color uh, to add the uh, life that I wanted to this, um, to this model. So here I am adding the uh, gray to the some of the walls of that uh, funnel that's going through the hall as well as again just kind of digging through all this stuff or going through all the other walls not digging through them and uh, painting them all gray and then a moment or two you'll see me moving from painting all these walls and bits gray 
on that uh, upper deck to painting some details on this lower in deck. Um, and then a little after that, since my hand is getting so more and more sore as I do this, I eventually decided to you know, kind of wait, save my energy until I'm a bit fresher, and better able to you know make all the little tweaks. So as you see here, now I'm adding the uh, white that's for the little benches and the shower heads in all these uh, washrooms. I figured, you know, for washing, they just have showers, that kind of thing. I figured there probably wouldn't be a lot of baths, like in the more luxurious, uh, you know, things. Since these washrooms, I think, were all labeled for what appeared to me to be rank and file guys. Uh, moving on from that, then I paint the guys. I think it's a, uh, what is it? I'm not sure if it's a Kyrak stone or Commando Khaki is the color from Games Workshop I'm using for the skin tone in this. Looks pale, but brown enough to pass as human. So that's what I'm using. And I'm going over every single one of these guys. And again, you know, just to, you know, put them in. So I put them on in such a manner. That little quick thing you saw me there is using the super glue um, on a scalpel to try to glue a thing in place that fell. And in just about a second or two after painting the walls of that shop ray, my hand starts to really hurt, and so I go back to slow-mo. Alright, so, I was going to try finishing up this little guy here. Um, this kind of, uh, you know, workshop floor. But my hand is just really starting not to be able to hack it, so I'm going to go ahead and call those quits for now. So this is Dreadnought 16. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, guess it's time for the usual uh, YouTube dance. Like, share, subscribe, hooray! Uh, enough of that silliness. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead, edit this video, try to rest up this hand a bit, see if it doesn't calm down, then I can get back to uh, working on this and finishing it for Dreadnought 17. Alright, peace out!